Okay, so here's something kind of irritating. Apparently, I'm not the only person that's having issues with with Fallout 4 and frame rate. Although I might be the only one having issues with the recording. I, it doesn't seem to be a very stable recording for me. But here's the thing. Fallout 4 apparently has its frame rate locked to its engine performance. Or its game speed. Now, that is not a good thing to do for any, any computer gaming. It's actually a horrible thing to do. But that's what Fallout 4 and Bethesda are apparently going with. Now, I've done I've done one fix that is supposed to give me a better frame rate. Problem is that it, it doesn't help me much because my frame rate for whatever reason when I'm in full screen mode is capped at 30. It will not play the game above 30. Now, I see that a lot of other people looking at a Reddit thread I have open right now also are stuck with 30 as their max. In fact, that's what it seems to be by default. Now, here's a very interesting thing. Apparently, if you put it into windowed mode, the frame rate is capped to 60. How the hell does that make any sense to anyone? Anyone have any ideas? <clears throat> Personally, I don't see how it can make sense at all. Anyway, I'm going to be using this video mainly to test if I'm even going to be able to do a Let's Play of Fallout 4. Because when I was recording with the 30 FPS cap, the playback was horrible. I seriously, it looked like I was recording it with only 15 FPS at max. And I don't know why it was like that. So let's see how this goes. I've played the game further. I've I've done past the story mission stuff. So if you're looking for a spoiler-free video, well, the beginning stuff is the only spoilers that I have. Let's see, right now the frame rate dri dipped down to 28 when loading up that, that graphic there. And you know, I probably should have made this not borderless. I, I probably should have had a border on this window. Let's hope that this doesn't become a problem. And you know, I'm fine if the frame rate is dipping down when it's in the loading screen, because at least then that's not horrible. But eh, here we are while recording, and I've already hey, seen you. 18 FPS. You hanging in there? Oh well, I guess so. Every day I get up and tell myself. Now. The low FPS I'm having while recording could still be the lack of RAM that I have. It could also be that my computer is kind of old and not um, well built. I know I have a I'm pulling my weight around here, and, and I'm really trying to do better. Okay? Come on, there's nothing to apologize for. You worry about you, and everything will take care of itself. Okay. Thanks, Sturgis. Thanks for checking in on me. We look out for our own. Always. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to listen to that conversation. Anyway, the frame rate for the most part is staying in the 20 range. Now that's not good, but currently it's better than what I've been dealing with when it's in full screen mode. So the only question I have is, has the playback been s solid and consistent? Is it as smooth as 
what what I'm seeing in the game. And the only way for me to find out is to check the recording. So I will be right back with with the results of my testing and a, a determination on whether or not it's even feasible for me to try doing a let's play of this game. Because if the frame rate is going to be really bad in the recording, then there's no point in me even doing a let's play because well, it wouldn't be enjoyable. It wouldn't be fun to watch. It would just be a jittery slideshow of a jittery slideshow of pictures and that's just not good. So, see you in a moment. Well, I have my answer and it does not make me happy. Yeah, I'm sure you can guess why, what my answer is based off of just that. But nope, the playback is still crap. And I attribute that to the fact that my frame rate isn't any better at all while I am. While I'm in uh, windowed mode. Although there's one thing I haven't tried. One moment. Yeah, that didn't help things. I tried changing the priority of Fallout 4 to be top priority. Although now my frame rate is capping at 30 again. I don't know why that is. Oh, there we go. That one's above 30. So, yeah. There's not going to be a Fallout 4 Let's Play for me. At least not, not for a while. In fact, it might not happen until I build my new computer. Which isn't going to happen for quite a while either. And that is... That is incredibly irritating. This kind of makes me a little disappointed with Bethesda because you know there was that whole paid mods fiasco and they kind of were doing a thing that screwed over mod creators by taking a good share of what they should earn for their hard work while Bethesda did nothing but provide the tools I mean, come on you don't you don't give the person who made a screwdriver for you 40% of your earnings. You pay him for the screwdriver, and that's it. I know it's different in the gaming industry for that, but it's pretty pretty similar kind of idea. They make the tools, you use the tools. They give you the tools for free, so they, they should get some money back for what you make, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that much. Anyway, and then there's this with the whole frame frame rate capping and the fact that they just apparently couldn't optimize the game at all. I still love Bethesda as a game company, because they make really damn good games. I just wish that they were better at it. You'd think that they would be by now, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. And there probably won't be a new Fallout 4 episode for, who knows, months maybe. But hey, by the time that there's going to be able to be more Fallout 4 episodes, that'd be an indicator that, that I'd be starting a couple new things on my channel, such as playing games with my girlfriend, because then we'll have two computers instead of one. And that should be fun. So, take care, guys. I'll see you in a different series, because this one's kind of ended abruptly. 
Don't try to cheer me up, dog meat. Bye, everyone.